Hey man, you also tried to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware? Hello everybody, you are on Andrima Halovi channel and today I want to talk with you. Do you really need to install Windows 11 on your unsupported hardware? Please don't mind if you heard some different sounds. Today I'm recording this video outside. So, for the example, you probably could watch my tutorials how to install Windows 11 step by step on unsupported hardware. And that's okay. Then you have experience using Windows 11 and then you can see some issues, some problem. You could not install some necessary important drivers and also you could not get all updates, including security updates. So, why are you so surprised, my friend? You already installed Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. I mean, unsupported hardware. So, it's not surprising if you could not find some important drivers and updates. But in most cases, this problem is not happen often. For example, I install Windows 11 on Lenovo IdeaPod. Uh, this is laptop since 2015. It has two cores, it has SSD 2.5 form factor and it runs quite well on Windows 10. But when I install Windows 11 on this device, it runs quite fast, quite well and in the first time it looks pretty good. But then I just have some issues with microphone, cause microphone not working in the most apps in the most program. For example, it could work in Zoom without any problem, but in the same time it cannot work correctly in Google Meets or not working at all. So in the future, when you have some question like this, I install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and then my microphone stop working, I don't have uh, security updates or some other issues. Please, you need to be ready for these issues if you want to use Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Previously, I said that I installed Windows 11 on Lenovo IdeaPod since 2015. But for the second example, I installed the same Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, Dell E6430. And this device have no problem with Windows 11. When you're asking me, do you will get all necessary updates? I mean, when I'm using Windows 10, I don't have a reason to get all updates from Windows 10, because not all updates help to increase your system, boot your system and make it much faster, because some updates have bugs and some updates could fix this box. And it's all depend on you. Do you want to install all the updates or don't want to install? So guys, if you want to install some new operating system on your hardware, I could recommend to install Chrome OS Flex or Fide OS. Uh, this are simple operating system when you can go to the browser, watch some videos on YouTube and probably it works correctly on most devices. On my channel you can already watch video how to install it. So about Windows 11. I like this operating system. It's the future operating system that everyone will use. Why the dog is saying woof? Woof? So friends, I want to just give you advice. If you want to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, just do it, but be prepared that you can have many issues and many problems. Also, you could not find all the necessary important drivers and in future you wouldn't have important updates, including security updates. The second advice, if you want to install a simple and at the same time newer operating system, you could install Chrome OS Flex or Fide OS, you will get the latest updates and your machine will work much faster. So if you have Windows 10 and it correctly work on your hardware, so why the reason do you want to install Windows 11? 
I mean, you have all drivers installed, you have all important updates on your operating system, but you want to install new operating system on which your device will not work correctly. For people who don't know, Windows 10 will get update until 2025. And then you just can figure, do you really need to update to Windows 11? But if you have another opinion and you just want to see the new operating system, you could install it. How I previously say, on my channel there are three different ways. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. Also, you can support the author in the PayPal. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.